<clears throat> All right, so what's up everybody? Grim Green back here today. Thank you so much for joining me again. This is the Death Trap 2 RDA. And yeah, I, this RDA is like literally a year old. Almost literally a year old. It was like July, June or July 2019. Yeah, and I'm just doing it today. I ended up not getting one until Vapor Expo UK. That was in October last year. I kind of just built it and started using it in January this year, 2020 for the first time and I'm a guy that likes to spend a lot of time with something before I give it a full you know review type of thing on YouTube so that's where we're at today that's where we land death trap 2 with a three and a half millimeter coil in here, it's still vaping pretty nice. One of the things that fascinates me about the Death Trap 2 is just the size of the chamber on the inside. I feel like you could get a real big coil in there. The biggest coils I've had on hand for the last few months are like maybe three and a half millimeter coils. And I mean, what am I gonna do? Build. So I commissioned my buddy Beecher, aka Coil Turd, to build me a big coil for this Death Trap 2. Problem is, I have forgotten what this is made of, so let's ask Beecher again on Marco Polo. Hey Beecher, I'm shooting a review for that Death Trap with your coil in it, and I can't remember what the coil's made of. I know you told me a thousand times. I'm sorry, will you give me the specs of the coil again? Okay, thanks, bye. Bro, for the last fucking time, jeez. It's a quad core 28 gauge alien with 38 gauge wrap. And I wrapped it on a 3 16th drill bit, so have fun with that. Quad core 28 gauge, alien with 38 gauge, all niachrome around a some drill bit that I definitely don't have. All right, well, this should be exciting. Let's just do the damn thing. <clears throat> All right, yeehaw. Well, here we go. Death Trap 2. You can see it's engraved right there. Death Trap. Fancy Victorian writing. There is a shark mouth and a 2. I guess the shark mouth is the death trap that they are referring. And you can see over here two airflow slots, right? Or airflow slots. Airflow holes. And if I twist this, these are eventually going to line up. There's one hole. Oh, there's two holes right there. Two holes right there. Full open means that all of these holes are going to be full open except the top row. And the top row is adjusted with this doodad on top. All open. Open. And if you want to close off the bottom set of airflows, you're going to have to twist the whole top cap. And you see it, that's how it's going to close off the bottom. It's also going to change the position that your air is headed towards your coil. I really don't like this particular particular design for adjusting airflow, but in the Death Trap 2, it works just fine. So let's take a look at that deck. Two small flathead screws, plenty of space in here. I mean, plenty of space to get out and dance in here. This is a three and a half millimeter coil, and it barely takes up any space at all, which is why I commissioned Beecher for the giant behemoth coil. You can see where the insulator is. This is the positive. This is the negative. And those two little airflow holes, they go underneath the deck to your coil. And then the other airflow goes directly at your coil. There's not a whole lot of airflow options, but there's a few that I actually really like. But we'll get there when we get there, damn it. I'm going to pull this coil out of here and I'm going to install the Beecher behemoth. Okay, so here's the thing. I'm really sorry. It's just easier to install coils on this Death Trap 2 RDA with it upside down. The little clamps don't, aren't spring-loaded, and so you kind of have to, at least what I do is I just flip it upside down, and whatever, the clamps will fall open. You can kind of place your coil in there, screw the clamps down. I got the Beecher Behemoth in there, kind of. It's still not as big as I thought it would be. I kind of fucked it up a little bit over here. Yeah, I kind of messed it up a little bit over here. I'm not sure how this is going to work out. Let's try to glow it. I actually got it glowing pretty well, even with that freaking little crimp on this side in the wire. It still went pretty well. Well, there you go. There's there's Beecher's behemoth. Not, not as behemoth as I was assuming it would be. I might just take a coil turd stick and wrap it around a sharp and see how that works. Cotton Bacon Prime. Not terribly difficult to build, not terribly difficult to wick. Plenty of room in the deck there for wick, for coil. I still feel like you could do a coil twice this size and have room to spare. The Beecher Behemoth came out to a 0.28 ohm resistance on there. I'm gonna be using Transistor Tango Melon, even though it's a coil destroyer, I've just been craving it. And one of the great things about the Death Trap is you can bleh your juice all over the place. Oh, that 
Well, there's some vapors happening. So you want to get this AFC on here and you can see right there, it's going to line up with the tabs. It's full open. There's not a whole lot of airflow options. You got this big wall of holes on the front and then you got two holes on the back there. The two smaller holes obviously have a much greater resistance and the wall of holes is very just cloud chasey, cloud chasey. If you're going to adjust the airflow, I would suggest closing only the top airflow off. That way your airflow is still going to be pointed kind of directly at your coils. Me personally, and this is going to look really dumb, but the airflow that I like, that... I know, it's just one hole closed off, but you get the added bonus of having these holes closed off as well. I'll talk about that more once we get back up top, but yeah, there you go, Death Trap 2. Let's get back out to Normal View and vape it. Normal View, Normal View. What a difference a bigger coil in this makes. It's still not as big as I want. I think you can still get a bigger coil in here. And the idea is there's just so much room in this chamber, you're gonna get better flavor, I believe, with a bigger coil. This Beecher Behemoth, it's nice and crackly. It's nice and flavorful. I already like the Death Trap 2 more with a bigger coil in it exponentially more with a bigger coil in it. So let's talk about my weird airflow setting that I like. I just close off that one hole on the bottom simply because it closes off the two holes on the back. And the two holes on the back of this RDA, it's what really annoys me. One of my biggest gripes, one of my biggest dislikes, one of my biggest things in vaping that I really hate, uneven airflow, I just don't like hitting an RDA and feeling maybe one side of the airflow feel like it's pulling more air in than the other side. It just feels uneven and I just very much dislike it. That's the way this Death Trap 2 feels with those two little tiny airflow holes open on one side and then a whole wall of airflow holes open on the other side. So to remedy that, I just boop, give it a little twist, closes off one hole in the front and both holes in the back. And now even though it's only coming in one side of the RDA, I like that much more. That, that I can deal with. Truly and honestly, I like the Death Trap too. I've been using it, I really enjoy it. I'm enjoying it, like I said, exponentially more with a bigger coil in here, and I kinda wanna build an even bigger coil just to see what I can actually fit in this thing. It's a fun, big coil, high wattage, lots of airflow, cloud chasey RDA, where if you put a bigger coil in it, you're probably gonna get a lot better flavor. Now, are you gonna need your vape budget hands if you wanna check out the Death Trap 2 RDA? Uh, yes, and it's not really in stock anywhere. I think the only place you can get a Death Trap 2 RDA right now is gonna be second hand. Full retail price on these when they were available was $90, it was like $89, $90. So second hand, you know what? I have no idea what you would expect to be paying. There weren't a whole lot of these made, so that price might've gone up. You might be into the $100 range now if you wanna find a Death Trap 2 RDA. All right, so Aliens or FDA game, they come and take everything I have. I have nothing left to vape is the Death Trap 2 RDA something I'm gonna seek out and buy right away? No, look, it's fun, I've been having fun with it. Sure, you can have fun and throw big coils in there, big cloud chasey RDA, but is it an RDA that like I can't live without that needs to be a staple in my arsenal? Uh, definitely not. In fact, with the exception of this gigantic high def mods, I don't have a lot of mods that can run a big 30 millimeter RDA. But it is fun to have a big cloud chase RDA too. Anyway, that's what I got for today, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. No links are allowed in the description. Thank you, YouTube. So you're gonna have to use that Google Foo, but thank you again so much for watching. And remember, no matter what any crooked politician tells you, yes, absolutely, you should keep on vaping. Now, are you gonna need your vape budget hands if you wanna trick out the jet through to And now, even though it's only coming an, an, yeah.